G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, I've actually decided that I'm going to do a fresh colony of the Polystigma. I think I've talked about them like in the last week or so. But basically I've got like 60 fry. And I want to put 60 fry in the 7 foot and grow out a fresh colony. Same as I've done with the Bacchachromus. That's how I end up with such large qualities colonies without spending too much money. Although it's a slow process, I end up with nice big colonies. Um, but I've got a new motto, um, and it's new fish, new tank. So it doesn't matter, but like, these are my fish that I've bred, and I'm bringing them into a different tank. Um, so uh, the, the parents are gone. Um, basically, I've been battling with the illness for them for a while. Um, I decided to put the last two down um, just because it wasn't fair to keep them struggling. Um, I don't actually know if it was an illness or old age. I don't know how old they were. I bought them as full grown adults. So um, they, probably li they probably lived a good life. I've had them for like a couple of years. Um, I actually added to the colony and then the ones I added passed away. And then it's been a long process with them. Um, I definitely am not upset about it. I got plenty of fry out of it. But anyway, so now we're refilling the tank in short. But the main purpose of this video is I want to show you the filter. Alright, so I've got the lid up there. I can't bring the lid down because of the airlines and that. It's just not worth pulling. I can't actually pull the airlifts out. So it's basically three airlifts. Um, the three airlifts work exactly the same as like a normal sponge filter. They just drag the air up through it. This has been an airlift kind of a week, hey guys. So they're 25 millimeter. Um, if I was going to redo them, I'd probably redo them as 20 millimeter. I've learnt with airlifts that sometimes less is more. Um, but anyway, this is the filter here. So it's just a black plastic. It's just a plastic tub from Red Dot or Bunnings, and. Um, cost me like five bucks like this whole filter cost me probably fifteen dollars plus media um, so this amount of media is probably the same as like a fifteen to eighteen hundred litre canister filter so um, just value for money you can't beat it so I've drilled holes in this side here and there's actually a whole line of holes underneath um, I've got three layers of sponge there's a, I've got like a real fine sponge in here but I would actually kind of like to replace that with a, a more coarse sponge but I don't have any um, we've got marine pure now I probably wouldn't buy this again but I do own some um, I'm not endorsing buying this product it's too expensive in my opinion but in this situation it works brilliant and then we've got 20 odd backy rods now backy rods I do endorse backy rods are my favorite filtration value for money if you can find somebody selling selling backy rods that has imported a heap of them they sell them for like i think it's around a dollar a stick maybe um and you can't beat it value for money um oh no i just i made a mistake guys this tank hasn't got a drain pipe in it uh oh i'm just draining the water on the ground oh, sorry water corp well, actually, I don't give a shit about water corp. Sorry, environment. Look at that fresh water going straight down the drain. Um, I've got this tank isolated to the ground for the minute. The water's not going into the sprinkler system. Um, there's actually a couple more backy rods that are sitting here that I missed. I thought it didn't seem as full as it was before I pulled it apart. Um, there's a certain way these go. Hopefully that's good enough anyway it's a pain in the ass to get this filter in and out and clean it that's the only downfall um, it, in saying that it's easier than a side drop filter because I can lift it out there's one here and it's actually due for a clean hopefully me cleaning this one is motivation once it's actually out of the tank it's easy but you've got to like half hold it out of the water and let it drain and stand there for like a good five minutes and let this drain because you can't actually lift it not to mention I'm standing on the edge of a tank here literally standing on the tank 
trying to get it in and out. So that's my mission. Um, maybe I'll leave the camera running while I put it in. All right. It's a tight squeeze up here, guys. And it's a slipping hazard because I'm standing on this purse bear. But I wouldn't change my fish room in any other way. But the light's in the way. Hopefully you can hear me. I really want to get a Rode wireless mic, but I haven't got one yet. Alright guys, how to stain your shoes, just trip over some methylene blue. Um, so that's filling back up and I've turned the pro I've turned the air back on the, these pipes are, are like falling down but once the tanks full um, I, what I do I push it that way and it pulls on the airlines and it stops these from falling to the bottom um, I really need to come up with either I need to put something I don't really want to put rocks in there because that will restrict the flow I need to do something to stop them from falling mind you in saying that those three there none of them are touching the bottom they just look kind of ugly sitting there like that oh look there's a bit of a mouthful they're all photobombing uh, come on Um, that's cool because the Red Empress haven't bred for a couple of months for some odd reason. Um, can only see one male in there, that's strange. I definitely had two males. Maybe I need to throw another male in there, guys. Um, but anyway, I'm going to let this fill up. I'm going to put some prime in it because I have bleached the tank. I don't really know if prime cures bleach, but I know people use prime when they bleach their peerage and so it must do. But anyway, I'm going to wrap that one up there, guys. Look how sweaty I am. I actually wasn't going to film that, but it wasn't until I actually had that filter in pieces that I really wanted to show the filter. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, I really get, my boat gets floated by peculiar filters and cost-effective ways to filter fish tanks. Um, and, and like, that's probably my most cost-effective large aquarium filter. Well, it definitely is like that's that that crate has over 20 liters of media in it um, you can't get a, a 20 liter of media filter for under 150 bucks I would even say 200 brand new um, oh, I guess you can get the eBay canisters but and also that runs on air you don't need any electricity well you need electricity for the air but you get what I mean I would actually love to work out one day how many air outlets I have and how many watts of electricity the air pump uses and work out how many watts each air outlet roughly uses because um, I am running that big blower so I feel like that number would be super super low um, but anyway if you like this video give a thumbs up if you want to subscribe for more hit that little red button if you want me to work out that dollar per sponge filter um, drop a comment and we'll, we might do a video on it I don't know if you guys like the nerdy videos or not, but anyway guys, peace out.